Welcome to the Harper Tech Academy. We've got an extra special mix for you today. We're actually looking at some ghouly food poisoning bugs and I'm going to introduce you to all of them. These are the kind of bugs you want to have a look at at the microscopic level and see what they can cause. But as always, we want to stop them. So let's go. Before we can get off to the main show, we've got to look at the symptoms of food poisoning. We're then going to actually look at the requirements bacteria need to grow. And then finally, I'm going to start to introduce you to those ghouly food poisoning bugs. Put your hand up if you've ever had food poisoning. I think most of you would have had food poisoning. It's the most horrible thing in the world. Symptoms, stomach cramps, vomiting, dehydration from all that spewing, diarrhea, gastroenteritis and a lot of nausea it could be one day it could be three days it's horrible and we want to avoid that for our customers in a commercial so before we get into the main show let's actually look at the requirements for growth so first of all they need food then they need a pH level then time to grow oxygen moisture and temperature and we're actually going to have a look at those so the first we're going to look at is the ph level now ph level actually refers to how strong an acid or alkali and in the middle is where bacteria growth love it so between four and a half to ten so you'll see there that citrus fruit sits at about a four as a strong acid um, dishwasher detergent up at 13 as an alkali for cleaning. So between four and a half and 10 is the key for good growth. Given the right conditions for one bacterium, so we're looking at those things of food, water, a good pH level, then we look at time, oxygen and moisture. So they can, the bacteria can actually double every 20 minutes and within seven hours, one bacterium can increase to 2 million bacterium that fast. After three hours and 20 minutes, most bacteria will have reproduced to sufficient levels to cause food poisoning. With oxygen, it's very important to know that bacteria need oxygen to grow, which is called aerobic. And some bacteria need little or no oxygen, which is anaerobic. Remember that because we'll talk about it later. Are you excited? The main show is here. Let's meet the food poisoning bugs. Where first of all, we're going to look at the bacterial bugs. First of all, we have Campylobacter. We have E. coli. We have Listeria. And finally, we have Salmonella. The first food poisoning bug, Campylobacter. Um, it's spiral curved rods prefers an environment low in oxygen. So let's have a look. It's found in soil, the intestines of meat and poultry. Food affected is normally meat and untreated dairy products. Uh, symptoms, diarrhea, stomach cramps, nausea, dizziness, and the symptoms can appear and go on for two to five days. It's a really horrible one, this one. Prevention, strict hygiene standards, effective cleaning and actually making sure you cook food to above 75 degrees. And our next one is E. coli. And E. coli is actually found in contaminated water and look at the long rod shape, um, shape of this. So let's check it out. Foods affected are generally anything that is washed in contaminated water. Symptoms, diarrhea, stomach cramps, nausea, dizziness, and usually a fever. So the way to prevent this is to wash your hands thoroughly. Always cook your meat thoroughly. Uh, avoid swallowing water when swimming in dams or um, lakes. Next, we have Listeria, which is a non-spore and it's aerobic. So remember, aerobic means it needs oxygen to grow. So let's have a look. Uh, it's found in soil, vegetables, uh, sewage, water, and animals like humans or cows. Um, foods that are affected, soft cheese, ice cream, vegetables, raw meat, 
Symptoms, flu-like symptoms, nausea, headaches, muscular pain, and can cause miscarriage in pregnant women. Again, follow strict hygiene, avoid cross-contamination, and always wash your fruit and vegetables. And I introduce the best known of all, the salmonella. Um, it does not form spores and symptoms can appear between five and 48 hours later. So let's check it out. It can be found in the intestines of poultry, animals, humans, insects, and rodents, uh, food affected, uh, raw meat, oysters growing in contaminated water, uh, non-acidic foods, symptoms, abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, fever, nausea. It's a horrible one here, yuck. And you can see here, it's a great photo of our salmonella. We don't want to see this. In and if that wasn't enough, it's time to meet the food poisoning bugs that are toxins. So the first ones were bacterial. Now these ones actually, it's the toxin that they put out, which makes you sick. So let's have a look. So first of all, we have Bacillus cereus. Then we have um, Clostridium botulism. We have Clostridium perfringens. And then finally, we have the Staph or Staphylococci aureus. So first up, we have Bacillus cereus. And look at that, yucky. You don't want that in your food. So let's have a look. It's found in uh, meat and poultry dried soups and dairy products. So again, infant formula is one that you could find that um, awful bacteria in. Our symptoms, abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, and severe nausea. This one you do not want. And one of the better known ones, Clostridium botulism. Uh, it is anaerobic, so it doesn't need oxygen. So let's have a look. It's found in soil, water, vegetables, animals. Um, the foods particularly are canned foods, um, damaged cans, low acid like tuna or olives, small goods particularly. Symptoms, abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, nausea, and very much dehydration. It produces a deadly toxin and people can actually die from this. Clostridium perfringens. It's anaerobic too, means no oxygen. Let's check it out. Found in, again, manure, raw meat, poultry, intestines of animals and humans. So we're looking at large cuts of meat, stews, curries, non-acidic food. And uh, you basically can um, get symptoms within eight to 12 hours, and it can be up to two days. Prevention for this one, you wash your vegetables, don't use damaged cans. Always choose a reputable supplier and maintain high standards of hygiene. And you'll notice that throughout. Next, one of a very well-known one, Staphylococci aureus or staph poisoning. Check, let's check it out. It's found in uh, nose, hair, throat, skin, animals, dust. Um, a lot of different foods affected in this one. Meat, dairy, um, cooked foods, ham. Um, and again, most of the same symptoms as before. Um, they vary between 30 minutes to eight hours, so it's fast acting. Prevention, again, high standards of personal hygiene and making sure you store food below five degrees and heat above 60 degrees. Wow, it's too much, but yes, there's more. Meet the food poisoning bugs viral. All right, let's introduce them. First of all, we have hepatitis A, and secondly, we have rotavirus. Hepatitis A, you can actually get from drinking alcohol or taking drugs or touching something that's contaminated. It occurs when hep A is taken in the mouth. Uh, the virus then multiplies in the liver and is passed in via the feces or poo. And you'll actually see this photo here. This is actually of a, a broken down liver because of hepatitis A. It's really yucky. You do not want this one. Symptoms, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, um, and particularly a pain in the liver. So it spreads via direct contact of food and beverage. So you have to keep really high personal hygiene and environmental. But last but not least, the rotavirus. 
So it's a main cause of gastroenteritis in babies and young children. It can be found in food, water and faeces. The symptoms, again, very similar. Severe vomiting, dehydration, shock and can actually cause death. I think you'd agree that was the best mix ever. We actually looked at the symptoms for food poisoning. We then looked at what makes those little ghoulies grow very fast. I then introduced the main show. We had the bacterial food poisoning bugs. Then we looked at the toxins and finally the viral. This is very important for commercial kitchens and anyone working in them to actually understand the food poisoning bugs. I hope you enjoyed the show. See you next time at the Harper Tech Academy.